Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly general reading. This is going to be for the sign of Sagittarius. It's not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Sagittarius placement that is important to you, there may be messages that will resonate. Personal reading information will be linked and listed in the description box. Any jewelry seen as well. At the end, we'll pull some oracles, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. Otherwise, we are jumping right in, Sag. Already got four cards out, so you're getting straight to the point. You're cutting to the chase here. High Priestess is your first card out. The first card is the strongest card. Pisces energy could be important to you, as well as the letters B and J. We also have the Queen of Cups here, Water Sign Energy, Cancer Spicy Scorpio, Three of Wands, Six of Wands, Three of Swords. One more card, please. For Sagittarius, two threes here. The number 33 could be important to you. What else do we have for Sagittarius? Okay, the Eight of Swords. Lots of Swords here. Well, not lots, but... All right, bottom of the deck, we're looking at the Ace of Pentacles, beautiful energy, new opportunity, whether in, in, in any sort of aspect of life, right? This is the promise of something of real potential. The seed that is that is going to grow into the beanstalk type of vibe, right? So it could be work for some of you. It could be within a relationship. I do see some emotional stuff going on here too. But there is some sort of new beginning, new potential. Also could be a gift. Of a gift of value, something that you will find valuable, whatever that is. Someone could be giving you a puppy. Whatever it is to you, something of value, something that you will find valuable. Okay? The high priestess, six of wands here in your in your past positions. I just heard secret success with that. Some of you, there may be something that has been happening or some sort of um, victory or accomplishment milestone that you've reached that you are keeping silent. Or there is something that you have been very silent about, not really speaking on, and are, and are now finally ready to come out with it. This could be your energy. This could be someone else's. I do get a vibe that there was something that was being kept secret or kept to them. Someone was keeping something to themselves. And it looks like now they're ready to sort of come out with it. They're ready to say what they need to say. They're ready to let it be known. It looks like they had some maybe things to shift through mentally. I do see some mental stuff going on over here. But it looks like if someone is going through a hard time mentally or, or trying to process something, they'll, they'll get the answers they need. And whatever it is they come up with, they will express it. Or you, if this is for you to someone else. High Priestess is very intuitive energy, secretive energy. Someone that doesn't talk too much, says very little, but knows a whole lot. But it doesn't look like that secret that secretiveness will last long, much longer. It, I do get a, a vibe of letting it be known or letting something be seen here could be with emotions with this queen of cups could be someone that you are connected to that is has a lot of emotions has a, has a lot of love to give maybe someone has been keeping their emotions secret quite literally heavy on the on the water sign specifically pisces and with this here who knows definitely someone could be have been keeping their emotions a secret i see the seven of swords here i am getting strategy with that so it's like someone was waiting for the right time or certain things had to be in place first for someone before they could let this, whatever it is that they're feeling here, to be expressed, to be known. But I think this could also be you and you could also already have a sort of feeling that someone is not saying all the things they want to say. Whoever this is could also be not speaking due to some sort of past pain, past heartbreak with the three of swords there. Pain, heartbreak. It could also be the, 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 the fear of pain and heartbreak. This is also why they have not been expressing or quick to express. Trapped in their head about it, not really knowing maybe what the response will be. You could be waiting for someone to express some sort of emotion or vice versa. Someone's waiting for you to kind of make things clear, let it be known, confirm. Someone's absolutely been stuck in their head here, perpetuating some sort of pain. This was way too much swords. Eight, nine, ten, eleven swords. It's a bit much. And the seven. It almost seems like someone was trying to avoid pain by not speaking, but it almost looks as if if that is continued, that is what's actually going to hurt them. The not speaking. 
The Three of Wands could also be an energy of expectations. You know, our expectations, what we are expecting from people, from ourselves, usually from others, right? But with the Ace of Pentacles here, I do get that whatever sort of information or clarity or affirmation or what's the word? Um, you know, valid, not validation. It's the word that people use. Anyways, you will get it. If you're waiting for someone to sort of let you know where you're at, where you stand, how they feel, you will, you will, they will tell you. There is some processing going on here. Maybe some past pain needs to sort of be cleansed. It's kind of created this defense mechanism where they kind of go around things before they can trust themselves to sort of let things be known or let things be, you know, because in their mind, I guess they become vulnerable. But with the strength card here, it absolutely will be overcome. Someone will realize that they're actually doing their self more injustice by not speaking by not expressing, by sort of restricting themselves, holding themselves back, then it would be to just let it be known. Yeah, the ending of this overthinking cycle with the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Swords underneath the deck. So we see the three, the seven, the eight, the ten. No more overthinking, time to express and give love. Time to allow our cup to be filled and time to fill. The letter W or M could be important to you. This is renewal. Could be someone you know. Most of you will be. Someone has definitely been through a whole lot of a whole lot of stuff. Look at this. Ooh. For some of you, you could have left someone because they refused to sort of let you know where you stand or where your place is in their life. In whatever aspect. You could have sort of been like, okay, well, I'm not gonna talk to you, high priestess. I'm going to move forward from this because, you know, you're not forthcoming with your emotions. Maybe you are this queen of cups, someone that is very open and honest and sort of lets it be known. And you kind of have to let this person, you leave this person by the wayside. And this is the pain that they've been trying to avoid that they're feeling anyways. So it's like the realization is, it's like, I got to speak up. Judgment. Final decision. Someone's absolutely feeling your absence here. It really hurt them. It, 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 they, they felt it. They're feeling the silence. The silence is cold. So they're like, okay, you know what? I'm done with this sort of guarding myself. This is a real opportunity for me to be authentic, express. And I'm going to take it. Four of Wands. I'm going to take it. Death card. Yeah. Could be death to someone's ego as well. The strength card can also be a sense of ego. Ego, you know, like a defense mechanism. Someone has created, e e their ego has grown thick due to past past things. And now that's just their, their line of defense. Let's get the oracles. But they're going to they're gonna get past that. They're going to realize they're their own worst enemy. This, uh, this uh, coping mechanism that has been created, their own worst enemy. Or if it worked before, now is not the time to sort of exercise. Excuse me, exercise this type of um, approach. Because the high priestess, she's not to be played with. This is pure, genuine, um, what's the word? Unconditional love. Because the high priestess sees the both dark and the light, represented by the pillars next to her. She sees the dark side of people and the good side of people. She's not naive, male or female, it does not matter. It's not a naive individual. This is someone that's been through things. They've evolved spiritually. They understand the human condition and they don't judge you for it. Queen of Cups is also very much unconditional love. The energy is gaining momentum. So as it's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. If you are silencing someone, yeah, they're not, they, they don't like that. They do not like it. What do we have for Sagittarius, please? Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Cups, though. So not only is this real, not only is there love, but this is real. This is this is a realization I think someone is having. I'm safe. I can I can I can lean into this. There's a potential here for something real, and if I don't, you know, speak the hell up, if I don't change some things, don't forget to celebrate the silent battles you fought and won. So whoever it is that has developed these uh, nasty coping mechanisms, they're now, you know, realizing that the perspective also needs to change. 
Yeah, you've been through some shit, but you got over it. You got past it because look, you're now here into this beautiful situation in front of you. You've come a long way. The past doesn't deserve that type of power over you. Changes. Chances are you might F up today. That's fine. There's always tomorrow. This is saying like, do not. Your past doesn't dictate your entire life. It shouldn't. It shouldn't be a dictation for the rest of your life from that point forward. And I think that's what someone done. They're kind of still living in that cycle. That's what the Ten of Swords here is about. It's time to release this. Change is good. Embrace that shit. Yeah. I'd say so. And an animal oracle for Sagittarius, please. We have here stag spirit take the lead number 58 someone is absolutely being nudged by the divine the divine's like get your ass up and then say something <laughs> someone is absolutely being pushed and i think also you guys you you're kind of connecting with this person telepathically you're like you're an idiot if you don't do this <laughs> all right sagittarius that is your reading I really do hope it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Leave me a comment. If it does, I'll see you guys next week.